How are you today? I mean that really. How are you? How are you doing? In two weeks, it will be one complete year since we've gathered together regularly. We had a nice break in the summer and we began to get together and then in the fall the number of COVID cases spiked significantly and we ended up coming back to our uh, purely online gatherings. I do hope that you're getting with us each and every week. But I realize that this past year has been difficult. It's been difficult for everybody. It's been difficult, I think, physically. It's been difficult emotionally, relationally, financially, and spiritually as well. I think from an emotional and spiritual standpoint, there are a lot of days when people feel that they are in the valley of despair. There's no place to go, nowhere to look, no place to find solace of any kind. And as we uh, began our study last week in the book of Lamentations, and we looked at the reason for the judgment of God on the people of Judah and Jerusalem, we found out that there were a lot of reasons that uh, they brought upon themselves. Uh, What we realize in this year of pandemic is that we didn't bring any of these things on ourselves. But the reality is that whether we experience circumstances beyond our control, like the two examples we gave last week of young Timmy, a 13-year-old boy who died of brain cancer. But as a result, many came to know Christ. And then we also talked about Thomas O'Chisholm, who wrote over 400 hymns and 1,200 poems and was disabled and unable to serve the Lord as he had once thought he would. But even in those cases, God worked in miraculous ways and did things beyond what their abilities or their life uh, time was. So even in the difficult times, God does have a plan. But then, of course, we're looking at the nation of Judah and the city of Jerusalem and its inhabitants. They made their own choices, and they made choices that brought the judgment of God upon them. Their sins were continual, they were criminal, they were carefree, they were clear, and God allowed the hammer to come down on him. Now, God's not an ogre, and uh, we need to understand that God loves us. He desires for us to have uh, a great life of faith and trust in him, but yet these people ignored all of God's instructions. But again, how are you doing today? I've been trying to pick some songs as we have gone through this last year that fit in with the message of the day. And generally, I like contemporary Christian music, and there are a lot of great songs out there that I find very uh, inspirational and uh, very meaningful as well. I want to play a song for you today that I think relates in a little different way. It does relate to our message, but I think it relates to the times that we find ourselves in as well. The Jews found themselves in a very dark valley. And as I mentioned already, that valley was brought on because of their poor decision-making choices that they made. And maybe that's the valley you're in today. Maybe you've made some choices that are not appropriate, some choices that are contrary to God's word. Or maybe you just found yourself in a place because of circumstances beyond your control, like a global pandemic. Anyway, I'm saying all this to point to a song that talks about the fact that God is the same on the mountaintops as he is in the valley. And I think we need to understand that and embrace that. Whether we're going through a difficult time or whether we are riding high, God is the same. He loves us. He cares for us. He has a way out of the valleys, and we experience his presence in a very personal way, whether on the mountaintop or in the valley. Well, as I said, the song I'm going to play for you To kind of introduce our time together today is a little different style than we normally uh, do. 
Uh, but I know some of you like the uh, c country kind of flavor and the gospel flavor. But what I want you to do is pay attention to the words to this song. I think you'll find it meaningful and uplifting. More than anything else, I think you will find it portrays the truth of who God is and how he wants to be in our relationship with him. So sit back, enjoy the song, embrace it, enter into the words, and allow God to wash these words over your mind and over your soul as we prepare to get into our message this morning. 